Hello guys, today we will look at color spaces in computer vision and particularly we look at three important color spaces RGB, HSV and LAB. We'll move from concepts which is the theoretical side of things to the applications using Python. The first color space is the most famous one which is the RGB color space. As all of you probably know, it has three channels, red, green and blue. It is the most commonly used color space and even the monitor screens you're using right now uses the RGB color space. I will not go into the details of this color space because this one is pretty common, but let's move on to the other spaces. HSV color space. This color space has three channels, U, saturation and value. What are these channels? U tells us about the color of that particular pixel. Here you can see that these are different colors and they start from zero degrees to 360 degrees. So this is the channel you look at while deciding which color you want. The second channel is saturation that tells you the purity and strength of the color. If you look at the saturation axis, the lower the value, the more faded the color of that particular pixel is. The higher the value, the more bright it is. The third one is value. That tells you the brightness of the pixel or you could also say the intensity of the pixel. Here, zero is black and 255 is the brightest possible color and we'll look at that in Python. Also, I want to tell you that the value channel is very similar to the grayscale channel. If you convert your image to grayscale, what you will look at would be very similar to this value channel in the HSV space. Now let's look at the third color space, which is called LAB. It has three channels again. The first one is luminance. The second one is A, the third one is B. The channel luminance is again very similar to the grayscale image and it tells you about the brightness or intensity of that particular pixel. The lower the value of a pixel in this channel, the more green it is and the higher the value, the more red it is. Here we look at negative and positive values, but in Python, when we'll see the code, everything goes from zero to 255. The third channel is B. And similar to A, this channel tells you about the spectrum from blue to yellow. The more blue the pixel is, the lower the value of this particular pixel in the channel. The higher the value, the more yellow we have. So this is the LAB space. So this was the theoretical part of the video, but let's go to Python and see how these can be used. And we'll be able to imagine these spaces better. Okay guys, so this basically is the Python file where we will be looking at RGB, HSV and LAB spaces. First, what we do is we import OpenCV and NumPy as usual. After that, I've just created a function to show images. It's just CVIM show and this is basically to destroy them. Let's look at the first color space, which is the RGB space. I've used a sample image, which is vehicle.jpg and OpenCV by default uses this space, which is B, G, and R. So I've converted it to RGB. This is our sample image. And this is the converted image, which is in RGB. Now the problem with OpenCV is that even IM show uses BGR color space. So that's why you saw an inversion, which was this. But apart from that, there's no reason to worry. Now this color space is pretty straightforward, so I am not going into the application side of things. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and we'll talk about it. The next color space is the HSV color space. I've used the same sample image, which is vehicle.jpg. Let's try it out. So this is the sample image. Okay, so then let me show you the grayscale version of this image, which is this, right? Awesome. Now let's convert it to HSV. This line of code basically converts BGR to HSV. And I am gonna show this to you right now. Remember that I am show needs BGR and right now we're converting it to HSV. That basically means that the visuals of the image won't be good right now. And this is your HSV space. Now, of course, you can't look at it this way using uh, I am show. But I want to show you the channel V of our HSV color space. As I told you before, this one is very similar to grayscale. So if you look at it, it is like a grayscale image. And I've only used the last channel, which is V of our HSV. 
But the most important part is to look at HSV applications. I've used the same sample image. I want to perform semantic segmentation and I want to segment the vehicle from the image. So what I would do is I would read the image and after that I will just show the image for our convenience. This is just a line of code to convert it to grayscale and we will not be using that. So maybe I can move this. After that, I've converted BGR to HSV. So we have our HSV space. Here, I've basically written down the HSV values for a range of colors which are very close to yellow. So this is H, this is S, this is V. I've used GIMP to get these values. So I have a range of values. And after that, I will just mask the pixels which are not in this range using cv.in range. V2 is our HSV image. Yellow low is the lower side of our range and yellow high is the higher side of our range. And after that, I will just show the image and I would call this a uh, new image mask. So this is our actual image and this is the masked image. What has happened is that due to this conversion from BGR or RGB in general to HSV, it has become easier to divide the space based on colors. If it were RGNB, we wouldn't be able to divide it because yellow has components both in red and green. But in the case of HSV, the good thing is that yellow has a range. So H is basically U, which plays the most important role here. So this is one application of HSV. Now let's move to LAB. In LAB, I'm going to show you another image, which is this to make things easier. This image has red, green, blue, and yellow colors. So let's see how we can segment this image based on colors. Before that, I will also show you the channel uh, L, which stands for uh, luminosity. And as I told you before, that is very close to the grayscale values. That is for the intensity. This is the grayscale version. And what I've done is I've basically used the first channel, which is L. And it is very close to grayscale. If you look at grayscale here, you will look at something similar. Remember that it's not exactly the same, but it's similar. After that, if we go to LAB usage example, I would use the idea of segmentation once again, and I will use the same sample image of a vehicle. What I do here is take the last channel of LAB, because if you remember, the component of yellow is present strongly in B. So I will choose only the last channel for segmentation. That's my personal choice. And in this video, I will not go into the details of how the segmentation is done. It basically takes this channel, which is the last one and does k-means clustering on that. If I run this, this is a sample image. This is the last channel, which stands for B. If you look here, the component of yellow is very strong. And after that, what I've done is I've done k-means clustering to cluster this image into two parts, one which has a strong yellow component, the other which doesn't. And after that, I've just applied some morphology, which is another computer vision technique. So this was about segmentation using LAB. Overall, we've seen RGB without applications because it was straightforward and HSV and LAB using applications and segmentation. I hope this helped you to understand HSV and LAB in a better way. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to put it down here and we'll talk in the comments and maybe I'll make another video on those questions. Thank you so much.